Hello, everyone. Pina Trovo again, San Francisco State Information Design class. We're doing a bunch of graphs on COVID data. And uh, in the previous video, um, which we did cases for the United States, a bar chart with a moving average line. I forgot to do actually the Excel version, the Excel example. So that's what I'm going to do now. Again, this will be all NILEARN. And you'll have these folders that have numbers which correspond to the um, items on the uh, layout that I made for the assignment, kind of a rough guide to where everything is. So yeah, so let's just open this file. Right, so the original file, which we had gotten from um, the New York Times uh, GitHub uh, free data, source um, look like this. And just as a reminder, if you missed the other video, this is the New York Times website. Um, and then somewhere here, this is the main page. There is a link to um, their uh, data sets, okay? And that is, oops, I don't have it now, but I'll find it, uh, that's this one. Okay, and here you can download everything at once, download the zip archive. Um, and these are the files we're looking at, US cases, uh, states cases, counties, huge file. Um, and every data point is actually the total for that particular day. So it keeps going up. Um, however, for us, in order to do, um, actually order to do this um, let's see this graph um, we needed to have actually individual day counts so in tableau we did that programmatically but now in excel we're going to do it a little more um, statically okay which sometimes you might need to okay so this was the original file it's comma separated value, but you can open it in Excel. Uh, but now I'm going to open what I created. Okay. So once again, get Excel, it's free. Um, and so what I did, <clears throat> and I'm just going to now, um, so we just had, originally we just had um, cases and deaths, okay, meaning uh, just on every day, what that total number was. Okay, I changed the names here. Um, uh, it's a good idea not to put spaces in your data uh, headers. Um, anyway, so we had uh, daily cases and then uh, death daily. Okay, so those were the two columns right here, one and two, okay. All right, let me just make sure. Sorry, the opposite, see, the opposite. So actually what we had was cumulative days and it was just called cases, cases, cumulative cases and cumulative, cumulative um, deaths, okay? So what happens every, every day just adds up to the next one. So if on this day they had 104, that's funny, I think that's exactly the cells I used in the previous video. Um, the, site, the next day we had 125, means there were 21 cases on March 30, okay? But in order to get that graph, which otherwise would look like a, a nice smooth curve always going up, we need to actually have the days that which change, right? So here's how I did it. Again, in Tableau, we did it programmatically. Here, I made a calculation. So um, let's see. And I put the I put the column before. So I inserted the column there, and I inserted the column here. And for this column, it's hard to see now, but but the formula is that um, well, I put a one for the first one just because just to have something there. Sorry, because it was one. Um, okay, so then, yeah, this is the column we have. This is the column we created. So this number here is a formula. It's saying that I can take 
this sub this column and subtract and subtract this column from it. Okay, so let me just create a new column just so to show you. Okay, um, and I, I'll just call it subtract. Just make it bigger. So if you're looking at this on your so right as a menu too. Yeah, if you're looking at this on your phone, <laughs> hopefully you can see it. Um, yeah, so, right, this is what I created. This was I, what I'm now recreating, okay? And so what I do is, let's see, the first number, because I have nothing to subtract from at the above, I just put the same one, one, right? Nothing, nothing there. But then this will be equals, oops, equals this number minus this number. And then I say, okay. And right. Say so this number here is one, meaning there was no new debt, so the count is still one. It's still one there. So anyway, now I copy this this formula. Okay. What I can do is I can copy this. I'm just now doing Command C, and now I can just paste this pretty much throughout, and it will just recreate the numbers that I need. I'm going to go all the way down. These are three hundred some days. I got all the way to my chart and I just do paste and let's see what happens. Yeah, I got the same numbers, you see? So these are, these are, so these are now basically, this number is the total for this day minus the total for the day before, right? And it looks like, uh, let's see, 35, looks like about 70, 61. Oh, it's a lot, it's hard to, well, I guess I can tell how much it is. It's, <laughs> it's 26,000, um, that's silly. I'm trying to do the math when I'm staring at the number, um, but maybe we can use an easy day. I think towards the end, they get smaller, so. Uh, they're still big numbers because this is the United States, right? Anyway, 200, 2 million cases, no, 28 million cases, right? On, yeah, 28 million cases. Uh, notice, by the way, how there's no commas here, okay? You don't want commas. Um, in the in the numbers, right? The comma separated for the thousands. You don't want those. Um, okay. So, and this stops at February twenty second. Okay. So I'm now going to remove that because I don't I don't want to use it. Um, all right. So this is the new chart that I created. And I have, again, I put again, the ones that I created before because I figured, okay, these are individual counts and then these are added. Individual counts for deaths and, and added. And, um, and notice that we have cases and deaths. So if you wanted to do a chart on deaths, you could do that too, right? Um, and we'll do that for San Francisco. Okay, so I'm not gonna save this now. Oh, yeah, right. That is the file that I actually will use it. So I'll just try to recreate it. So this is not in Tableau, but it's in Excel and you can see I've already made it, okay? So let me see if I can move this aside and try to recreate it, but keeping it, yeah, you see the rendering is tough when, um, when they're so tiny. Oops. All right, I'll just... Um, I'll put it at the top this time. So what I want to do is I want to grab the days, the dates rather. Um, 
And by the way, another thing you should do is check if these cells, and you can do the whole column, what kind of cells they are. So you can say format cells, and now under number, it's general number, which is okay. It's just a straight number, right? As opposed to say currency. Um, but also here, this probably is important that it says date. So if I say format cells, um, you see it's a date and it has that format, right? And I'm just gonna leave it alone, but, um, and this is kind of important um, that it they didn't not be like a weird, text format. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll select this column, the days, and I'll select the cases daily. So I'll just do command. Now, I did it all the way past the 300. I don't know if that is going to affect. Um, I have a feeling it might. So let's not just risk it. So let's just take exactly the cells that we want, the days, dates and the cases. And now in Excel, it's pretty straightforward. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to simply say here, now we're in home, we're gonna say um, insert, and we're gonna say, no, I don't like that. Actually, that's not what I want to insert. Um, oh, I clicked the home. Oh, that's funny, okay. The insert button is not the home button. Okay, insert, and then brings up all the stuff. And I just go to recommended charts. And uh, we wanna pick the bars. So this is still, Wait, are these bars? I think these might, oh, stacked area. It doesn't give me a bar. So let's see what happens. Maybe I can right click on it and say, yeah, I can do a change chart type to column, bar column. Oh, here, uh, not, yeah. A regular bar. Okay, there we go. That's nice. And that's it. That's already pretty much what we want. Um, let's see, we want to change the color, right? So I, maybe if I click on it and I say, now I have to remember. <laughs> um, Want to format it. Oh, change color. How about that? Maybe I'll do this color. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Easy. Uh, maybe this color. Okay, so now we want to add the trend line. So all the numbers look good, the dates look good. And notice how Excel put the 21st of the month instead of the first as its default. Um, we're not gonna mess with it now. So we're going to add a trend line and we're gonna do that easily right here, add the trend line. Let me just see if I can make it bigger. Well, that doesn't change. Okay, so we say add trend line. Uh, so instead of doing a complete new graph with another line that goes on top, um, this one is would be like a regression line or a trend or something. So it's slightly different. We don't overlap another graph on top first. Okay, that, and then here it is. So, and this is actually nice, oops, sorry. Um, because you can show you know, different types of lines, uh, linear, what the trend is, of course, in this type of graph, it's not that interesting. But here's what we want. We want moving average right here, okay? And so 
Yeah, so the moving average, we're gonna say seven days. Okay, right, and that's correct. And the problem is now we need to change the, the type, right? So I think if we go here, the type of line under format trend, trend line, uh, we also wanna change the color to something stronger there. And we wanna make it thick. Um, so dash type, we don't want dash, we want solid and maybe a little thicker. Yep, that's it. And the interesting thing is that Excel actually looked like did, I don't know if you recall, but in, um, in Tableau, the very end of the line kind of dropped in a funny way. In Excel actually looks correct. Um, somehow there is no strange. Um, and you can have the rolling zoom, you know, the mouse over thing too, right? Okay, that's it. So I'm going to now uh, print this. So I'm gonna go Command P. Um, and this looks funny, but you could probably get it even if it looks like this, because you can um, release the mask and we'll see it. But since we're doing this, let's do it a little nicer. The page set up in Excel. Yeah. So let's just say landscape, whatever it is. So print. Nice. Um, except I don't want all that. It's numbers. Um, Well, maybe they won't show up underneath it. That's my hope. Okay, so save as Adobe PDF. Well, 14 pages, okay. Continue. I'm gonna stick it there. And I'm gonna say Excel. Um, remember do press quality, so the vectors and whatever, the fonts, everything's good. Everything is included. So let's see, where am I? Um, okay, what I want is really just the first page, right? So I'm going to, um, Open it with Illustrator. And I'm just gonna select page one. Hopefully that will open the right page. It did, fantastic. Okay, I don't have these fonts. I'm just gonna change them all to whatever. Ah, I do have that crap underneath, but uh, I wish I could just delete those. Uh, 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 okay, I don't like that, but because now I have to delete all this stuff. Um, I could have made the graph outside of my cells, right? That would have been a better, but I was too lazy. Um, let me see, maybe sometimes things are, ah. Okay, again, let's do a view outline to see what we got uh, there underneath. So hopefully we can get rid of that. So again, toggle between command Y to see this. Um, and also, in this case, perhaps I won't do the release mask because maybe it's allowing me to get rid of this all at once. So I'm gonna try to delete this. No, tough luck, you didn't do it. Um, hmm. Okay. This is not gonna be fine. Um, Okay, maybe I'll do something else. So X. Yeah, somehow this time everything is not grouped at all. So anyway, I'm gonna group this. Send it to back. 
and maybe I'm locking it. And now I'm gonna to try to get rid of all this crap with a little patience. Nope, I'll just delete the, okay. Yeah, you can skip with the video, but you see what's going on here. Now, if you do Y, the, the advantage of Y is that, um, see what happens when you're lazy originally, it takes longer later. So I should have put, I should have moved it to the side so I didn't have to deal with this now, but because I didn't do it, now I have to deal with it. And you can see the bars are also funny spaced here too. Um, but you know what? I think they're every seven days. So maybe there is a reason, I don't know. Um, Oh, actually, no, they're not, okay. So let me just quickly check. Now there's six and then five, yeah. So again, it's a, it's a rendering issue um, that, yeah, I just keep forward on the video, okay. I don't wanna stop the video. Oh, bad continuity. <laughs> we can do the same trick we did before with the spacing of the bars, okay? So just be patient. And I will. Okay, here we go. So, um, so overall, I mean, you know, this is pretty good. This is Excel, right? Oops, I lost my guides, um, whatever the numbers were. <laughs> Let me go back to Excel for a second. Okay, they're easy, 350, every 50,000. Okay, every 50,000, I could, I could recreate them later. I'm not gonna do that now for the video, but, um, Oh, and I also lost the line. Uh, I didn't pay attention there. Okay, well, you get the point. If I, if I slow it down and take my time, I probably have been right. So let's assume, let's imagine that the line is still there. Um, remember though, we still want to have these bars be equally spaced, right? So let's try to do that here too. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just deselect this. And I'm now just simply do a, a line distribute, okay? Now that, oops. It moved more than before. Um, For some reason, yeah, no, this changed too much. So it didn't happen before. So I don't know, I'm selecting some other object that I shouldn't be selecting. Um, all right, right. I need, I need to not select, there's, there is no data here. So I think these are zeros. So if I deselect those, Should move if I do distribute. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, and the spacing is pretty nice now here without the need to do the borders, right? Um, does it have a border? No. Okay, good. Anyway, I pre pretend that this was not messed up with the losing of the pieces, but um, that's Excel, okay? And uh, this is Illustrator. And then I would save as. What I do actually um, in Illustrator, okay, why doesn't it? Oh, sorry. Um, 
what I do is sometimes I make the file smaller just because I don't want to deal with all the extra. So I just say file, um, illustrator, file, document setup, edit artboard, just make it to what I need. Okay, and then save. Okay, all right, that's it. So this was the second one is Excel with the same daily cases for the US. And I'll see you for the next one, which I think is gonna be daily cases for California. Well,